Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Final Fantasy IV. Thank you for joining me. So you're probably wondering, Kronos, you're not at the spot you left off at last episode. Uh, yeah, you're actually right. I'm back on floor 7. I'm actually going to go back up to four, uh, floor 5 and uh, show you where you can run into the Flam Princesses and potentially, very rarely, but potentially, get the uh, Pink Tail that you can change for Adamantite Armor. Now, I'm going to be getting an Adamantite Armor for my New Game Plus playthrough, which I'm, I won't be recording up until I get to the Super Bosses. That's where the bonus episodes will come in uh, later down the line, because it's going to take a little while. And in here... But yeah, this is the room you want. It's the room that had the red fang in it. could have mentioned this earlier, but I actually kind of completely forgot like forgot uh, we want to put kick and counter on now as soon as the battle starts they're going to uh, uh, stop the not stop but berserk the whole party the only one that's not gonna be berserk is Cecil and when you know Cecil's defense is gonna suck not suck, but he's going to take a lot of damage. Where the hell is the sirens? If I don't get a, um, the, the Princess Flans on the first go, I will just restart it. Not restart, but escape and then reuse the siren. Here we go! Okay, dance with us. Dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Alright, so everyone's berserk except Cecil. Lovely. Some users chains, I defend. And that's pretty much it. I, this is it. So they're gonna attack Cecil. Cecil's gonna counterattack with kick. I'll leave him defending up until he needs the heal. Once he needs the heal, use like an elixir or something. Uh, you want something that will completely restore his health, because Cura is not gonna do it. Um. You could probably cast uh, Protect on yourself, but that is probably just going to cause you to lose more hit points than what it's worth. Don't bother with haste. Uh, don't really bother with anything. And I'll probably I'll wait for one more, or two more to attack, and then I'll use... Oh wait, I should probably get out of that. Okay, one more and I'll use an Elixir on myself. It cause about a thousand points of damage, or six hundred to seven points, uh, seven hundred points of damage when you're not defending. So just keep that in mind. Oh, that back flan. They have ten thousand hit points, by the way. Uh. Okay, come on, Cecil. Thank you. No, they're actually only doing 400, uh, 500 points of damage this time around for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, one's down. Two more to go. This is really mundane grinding, because unless you like use a unicorn horn to dispel berserk, they're just gonna recast it on your party anyways. Um, you're not going to be causing a lot of damage, because they absorb all elements except dark and light. So yeah, it's like using dragon, and that's it. Or I guess Bahamut, that's not an elemental, right? Ugh. But yeah, it's not meant to be easy, obviously. You get the best piece of armor in the game from doing this. Alright, one to go. Shouldn't need the heal. Shouldn't, I stress, shouldn't. That's if Kane would hit the goddamn thing. Uh, another thing you could, well, you should probably do is equip the bow and arrow on Rosa and the whips on uh, Rydia. Just so they can actually do some real damage. Hey, dwarf theme, don't 
Dun, 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 Ooh, we got an item. Pink tail? Ah, it's an elixir. Well, that's still pretty rare. That's what we use. Not bad experience points either. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to the save point and then I'll meet you guys back at uh, the spot where I ended last episode. So see you shortly. Alrighty, we are back. So I took the safe travel off and we are now reaching almost the end. Yeah, we only got a couple more floors to go before one, we complete all the maps in the game. And two, reach the final boss. Who doesn't like final bosses? Also, as soon as I encounter the last uh, enemies that are new to the area, I'm totally putting on safe travel. And there's nothing you can do about it because you ain't my mom. Man, death masks are so easy if you just cast off on them. It's silly. Though, I mean, to be fair, if you couldn't cast stop on them, they would be stronger than most of the bosses we fought in this area. Probably combined, so I'm glad that we can cast stop on them. Same with the red dragons, though they're berserked. Berserking them, they also give a crap ton of experience, which is really good. Though, to be fair, a lot of the experience that I'll be gaining towards, you know, <laughs> cap, is, uh, from those freaking land princesses I'm not looking forward to uh, you know grinding out pink tails but getting levels left and right well not really but we're getting a lot of levels for where we're at in the game and this is not the right way correct now behemoths I probably won't really spend my time fighting the behemoth they're easy, but they just take a lot of goddamn time. Now, a death mask that casts laser barrage right off the top of the battle is kind of a bitch, but yeah, we still made it through. We're still the champions, my friend. We are the champions, my friend. I can't sing, and trying to do so is an injustice to Freddie Mercury's memory. And I guess the other members of Queen, too, if anyone really knows who they are. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by that behemoth. No one actually does know who they are. Look at this area over here. Doesn't it look like there should be something here? Even in the Super Nintendo version, I always thought there was supposed to be something here. I, I thought there was a save point here at one point. Maybe that was like in the English Final Fantasy II version? I don't know. It's silly. It boggles my mind. And we get... Basement 10 complete. Three Stardusts. Alright, I don't think I've ever actually used those. Now, here we should be running into the last two enemies we need for our bestiary. They're actually pretty common, too. Here's one! Zemus Malices, or Zemus's Malice. So, we cast stop on it. And, uh... Apparently Cecil gets his ass kicked. I don't know. Jesus. With Cry on it. Oh, you cast Protect. Right. Right. Though, with Cry on it still, it should be no real problem. And the Protect doesn't stack. There's stop. Alright. And just pray. Just gain back whatever MP you lost. He only has 20,000 hit points, so it's not that big of a deal. He's dead. Long live the king, baby. Heal up. Should only be Cecil, really. What did he say? Father, I will follow the path you set me on. Jeez, way to think for yourself, you freaking puppet. Uh, did we go the right way? We went the right way. I needed to go down here. There we go. I saw that little piece on the map and I was like, Oh, I'm sure we're going the wrong way. I'll go back and get it. 
Nope, I was wrong. And here's the other one. This is actually the last one. Um, I'm gonna have Edge attack. I'm pretty sure this thing only casts Libra. And oh, I might as well cry on it. And cast Stop. And Zemus's Breath. So, yeah, he casts Libra on your party, I guess, to give the illusion that he's sending your weaknesses to Zemus. Does that actually do anything? No? I don't think so. It's kind of weird. I mean, I like it. It's kind of cool. But I don't think it does anything. Now, he has actually 40,000 hit points. So he's harder to kill than the one that actually does anything to you. Um, but just auto attack. Uh, pray to recover any MP lost from Rydia. And, you know, heal any damage that might have been taken. He'll be dead shortly. And after this, this is actually the last enemy I needed to encounter, so I'm going to be throwing on the safe travel. It's been a long time coming. And it's going to feel good. Oh, it's going to feel great. No more random encounters to love, like, edit out. Ah, but to be fair, we're, like, an episode away from the end of the LP, aside from bonus episodes. Oh yeah, I should probably put on that augment to see how I was so excited for it. Safe travel, there we go. Alright. And you can see we're getting closer to the core of the planet because that's safe. I'm sure this would cause no problems whatsoever for our well-being. One thing I hate about the Crystal Palace area, Luna Subterrane, is the map. <laughs> it kind of, like, obscures everything. We get three lunar curtains, and all maps are complete! And we get the Treasure Hunter, uh, hunter Augment, which I'm going to give to Cecil. Uh, seeing how Cecil's always in your party, and Treasure hunt, uh, Hunter Augment, when equipped, increases uh, your... I am on Cecil, yes, okay. Increases your drop rate, uh, well, it doubles your the drop rate of enemies. So, say, uh, you know... You're looking for those pink uh, tails for the adamant armor. It's a point zero point four percent drop rate, but with the treasure hunter augment, it's zero point eight. It's just so good. And you know what? I think that's gonna be it today. I showed you guys the pink, uh, the the flame princesses. Next time, let's confront Zemus and help Golbez and Fusuya. Finally put an end to his evil schemes. Or, you know, just kind of die. Whatever works, really. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head over to my video section and check out some of my past content and see if it's to your liking. Either way, thank you so much for joining, and I'll see you all next time.